How's it going, Novi? Welcome back to another edition of the Cat's Eye News. I'm Scott. And I'm Leo. Let's get straight into this week's announcements. Novi's softball team is running trials from March 13th to March 15th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. No experience is needed, though an updated physical is required to try out. If you're interested, seek out Coach Marion in room 242. Next is an announcement from Mr. Latart on Cat's Eye News Applications. What's up, Novi? My name is Mr. Latart. I am the Cat's Eye News Advisor. And I got to admit, today I'm a little sad because in just a few short months, the vast majority of my Cat's Eye News staff are going to graduate, which means next year I need all kinds of new journalists. That might be people who want to be in front of the camera or behind the camera or video editing. We need all kinds of people who are passionate about telling Novi's story. If you're interested in joining the Cat's Eye News staff, all you got to do is fill out this QR code right here by Friday, February 17th, and uh, hopefully you'll be part of our team. We hope some of you will be joining us next year on the news. My personal opinion, it's an awesome class. You should totally take it. Hey, Leo, what do you think? Take it. Best class at Novi High School. All right. Now, for those of you who don't know, the 2023 Google Doodle competition is going on right now. Students can create in any form on any medium they want and can win up to a $30,000 prize. Our Cat's Eye News co-host Leo created a commercial video of his own, so let's check it out. We're two and a half weeks into the second semester, and we want to see some what some students have to say about the first semester. Here's Mattia with more. What's up, Novi? Today, I will be interviewing students asking how their first semester went. Let's get into it. So how do you think your first semester went? Uh, so far, I think it's gone pretty good. I'm still like waiting to take my last test and my grades back. Yeah. So how was second semester? Are you feeling positive about that? Because I know you got an SAT coming up, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like I'll take some of the things I learned from the first semester and like use that to better in the second semester. All right, well, thank you. So how do you feel about your first semester? Uh, so my first semester of senior year went pretty well, I'd say. You know, I got good <laughs> grades and everything. What about you, Nick? How do you feel? Uh, I enjoyed my classes. Uh, I liked my teachers. I had uh, a lot of fun. That's good, that's good. So since this is your guys' last uh, semester of high school, how do you guys feel about that? Uh, you know, I'm ready to go, definitely. Definitely been here for a long time, so it's time to go. But also, once it's all said and done, I feel like we're gonna miss it, so. What about you, Nick? Yeah, definitely gonna miss this place, some of my underclassmen friends. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, thanks guys. Thanks, Mattia. Now, if you're interested in TED Talks, we talked to a Novi alumni who has organized a TEDx event at the University of Michigan. Here's the reporter Sky with more. So TEDx U of M is basically a club um, at the University of Michigan, and we organize TED events on campus, um, um, many of the speakers' topics, and then also just like the activities that we have before and during the intermission of the conference. And then we also have performing groups as well. Um, it's a super fun conference and a super fun thing to be a part of, especially if you love like TED Talks and stuff. Awesome. And when is your next upcoming event? Yeah, so it's actually this coming Friday. Um, it's open to anybody. It can be students from the area of Michigan and like Ann Arbor, um, general admission, just like anybody that's interested in TED Talks, basically, if you want to see some live, we have eight wonderful speakers. Um, one of them is this like Oscar nominated shortlisted documentary filmmaker. And literally, I remember talking to him, he had $100 in his bank account last year. And then now he's like being nominated for like his, um, I think it's a short film film about his hometown in Michigan called Bad Act. Awesome. And where can students get tickets? Yeah, so we have tickets um, on our website, TEDxUofM.com, um, a link there that will bring you to our ticketing website. So if anybody's interested in TED Talks at all and wants to see some live, um, feel free to come join us for the night this coming Friday. Recently, I went out during passing time and asked people a question. 
and they would come up with a follow-up question for the next person. Chaining these together got pretty chaotic, but let's see what happened. All right, do you watch My Little Pony? Possibly. Did Nico Krall and Colin Masterson steal our stuff? Yes. And do you know your grandma's birthday? No. And um, do you take bath? Yes. Do you wear socks to bed? Yes. Do you like dogs? I'm saying yes. All right. Got it. What? Yes. No. Um. I'm a, uh. <laughs> Did you fail your last test? No. Do you think LeBron is the go? No. No. Do you like Fortnite? No. Uh. Bro, I don't even know. <clears throat> no. Thanks, Leo. That's all we have for announcements today. So now it's time for math. BC vs. O'Leary Season 2 Part 1 was yesterday, and it seems Mr. O'Leary took the dub. Let's hope our calculus students get a curve. And now into sports. Boys Basketball B Howell this past Friday, 56-48. Ronnie Hackman lead the team with 18 points, and Tejan McGowan was next with 12. They played Salem yesterday and won again, 67-54. With Aaron Lauer putting up 15 points in a single quarter, 20 in total. And Tejan McGowan put up 16. Outstanding performance, boys. Girls basketball was also in action and unfortunately came up short 43-51 in their Friday game against Howell. They are looking to rebound this Friday, so good luck, girls. And hockey, unfortunately, came up just short in their two weekend games and are looking to rebound tomorrow against North Hill. Good luck. Finally, our unified basketball team also competed on Monday and won their tournament. Border Cross' very own member, Aliyah, Joey, and Avery will be competing in the States tonight. Good luck, Wildcats. Cheer has a competition on Saturday and got 697 points, putting them fourth. Coming up Friday is their district, Milford, six. Good luck, Cheer team. Finally, top it off. Let's go to your boy, John Barron, for ski reports. What's up, Novi? Last week, the Novi ski teams did makeup races for all the cancellations that happened. First, they did races against West Bloomfield and Oakland St. Mary's United. For the girls, they lost the slalom race and the giant slalom race against Oakland St. Mary. Since West Bloomfield didn't meet the team requirements for the girls, there was no winner decided there. For the boys, they lost the slalom race against Oakland St. Mary and West Bloomfield. In the giant slalom race, they lost to Oakland St. Mary and won against West Bloomfield. Field. Overall, the girls lost to both and the boys lost to both. There was also a makeup race for the Giants Slalom against Milford and Brother Rice. For the girls, they lost to both Milford and Brother Rice. For the boys, they lost to both Milford and Brother Rice. With the Slalom scores from before, overall, the girls lost to both and the boys lost to both. Better luck next time and have a good night, Wildcats. All right, everyone, that'll do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this Wednesday episode of the Cat's Eye News. I'm your co-host, Scott. And I'm Leo. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so you get a chance to win those Taylor Swift tickets. We will announce the winner in 45 days. That's it for us, and we'll see you on Friday, Novi.